the idea is to um, have an education that can really contribute to affecting change in the world, not just my own work. The courses that we offer change, you know, as the world changes. So we've been adding courses on inequality, we've been adding courses on globalization. I barely knew anybody when I moved to New York from Colorado, um, and I've built up a family around myself, composed primarily of people that I've met here at the Graduate Center. My experience, and I think that this resonates with a lot of the student body here, uh, you are given a lot of freedom to study what you would like to study. The political science program at the Graduate Center is a great program because of the students and faculty, because of the people that make it up, and because of their um, intense commitment to public higher education. The opportunity to teach, the great financial packages, the fact that we're located in New York City. There's just tons of opportunities, um, you know, for funding, for working with organizations. Our program has a very strong placement record, meaning that um, our graduates uh, you know, get tenure track jobs. Our program is broader than other political science programs. It has more room for people who want to do, who are primarily interested in practical politics. Our graduate students have thought about why they're here. It was upon visiting the Graduate Center, meeting some of the faculty, meeting some of the current students that I started to realize that I could be happy and have a good experience here. A lot of diversity to the students, uh, to their backgrounds, and a lot of commitment that they have to the diversity of New York City to helping it thrive. The community that is the Graduate Center happens to exist under one roof. Here in a square city block in the center of Manhattan, we have a campus which means that it actually is a whole lot easier to bump into people. There's a lot of opportunities for students and faculty to just get together. We have these regular department colloquium meetings, the political theory workshop. Last year, for example, we also planned an, an ice cream social. There are student listservs in each of the programs. There are seminar series that are run by the students. I'm um, helping to coordinate the comparative politics workshop. I interned here at the Center for Media and Learning. I started working at the Journal of Comparative Politics. The journal is housed here at the CUNY Graduate Center and the editors are CUNY faculty. It's a really great opportunity to be able to work in a journal and to see what the process is. The Bunch Institute houses a number of smaller research centers. Because of the Ralph Bunch Institute's relationship with the UN, we frequently have high-level officials from the UN come to speak. One of the things I try to do is involve uh, students in the, in, the, in the work that I do and in the work that they will be doing and try to, in some ways, uh, jumpstart a career. We are trying to, to professionalize our students so that when they are on the job market uh, they know what to expect. Well, we talk a lot at the Graduate Center about being interdisciplinary. It's very much a core value here. Professors in our program don't have a narrow concept of what political science is. We encourage students to pursue their own topics of interest. There's definitely an openness here to exploring alternative theories and uh, theories that are um, outside of the sort of traditional box. Faculty who just have worked here have these kind of scholar activist histories um, of work that are inspiring. The faculty care about the students, uh, the faculty want to see the students succeed. Their care and attention and brilliance are one of the great benefits we have here and especially that I feel like I've really gotten to know a number of them as people and not just as somewhat distant professors. The faculty in general are very willing and knowledgeable and able to put us into contact with people who are doing similar projects. The Graduate Center gets to use the diverse faculty from around the CUNY system. Because the consortial faculty are so rich and diverse in, in subject matter as well as in experience, the students can really engage and choose uh, faculty members who best serve their interests and, and their needs as, as students. So you can put together an advisory committee uh, of extremely high quality here at the Graduate Center. The caliber of the students and faculty here is very high, but it's not an elitist institution. We often use the, the verbal logo of the Graduate Center, the life of the mind and the heart of the city. That's real here. There's a real emphasis on public intellectuals. There's an emphasis on connecting your scholarship to the outside world. CUNY is based on the idea that education, especially higher education, should, should be accessible to everybody. I actually think it's really essential to have uh, public doctoral programs uh, for uh, students like me who don't fit our part of the pipeline that the private universities are trying to create.
Any scholar or any activist, anyone who's going to give a presentation or some public speech of some sort is definitely going to do it in New York City. I love living in a diverse and vibrant urban center, from public and free events to incredible food. There's just like an electricity that isn't anywhere else. It's exciting. You don't know what's going to happen when you walk outside. You get up in the morning, you get on the bus or the subway you walk, and you go to 34th and 5th, at the heart of Manhattan, in the heart of the city, in the heart of Midtown, and that's where you're going to school. What could possibly be more exciting than that?